Ready for a summer look change? Click on play and join the fun with Alex and Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Alex. Ooh. Oops, those shirts are really old and worn out. But that doesn't mean we need to throw them away, Alex. <laughs> I'm sure with a bit of imagination, we can give them a second life. Ooh. For example, we can play and tie-dye them. It's really easy and it's super, super fun. Do you want to do it? Great! So we'd better go to our arts and crafts workshop. In order to tie-dye t-shirts, we'll need t-shirts, acrylic dye mixed with water, a ruler, rubber bands, and a non-permanent marker. With these elements, we'll learn different techniques. But don't worry, I'll show you. We'll start with Lily's t-shirt. What color do you want it to be? Pink, great! The first one is the cheese technique. And it consists on wrinkling the shirt as much as possible without really worrying about the shape. We use some elastic bands to hold it all together. And we pour the pink dye onto different areas. As if it was a strawberry and cream cheese portion. <laughs> Time to turn it around now. Great! That way we can dye the other side as well. Though, trying to match the cheese pieces on both sides, front and back. Good job, Lily! We can see the final result now. Ta-da! Isn't it great? Shall we start with your t-shirt, Alex? What colors do you want to use? All of them? Great! This technique is called the spiral because it consists on folding the shirt, curling it up. We use the elastic bands to keep the shape of a seashell. And now we make a rainbow with the dye, using all the colors, but not all at the same time. We'll put them side by side, only letting them touch side by side, but not getting all mixed up. Once we have one side ready, we'll turn it around and dye it again. And, as the same way we did with the previous technique, we'll make sure the colors match on both sides. You've done a great job, Alex. Time to take the elastic bands away to see the final results of our rainbow shirt. Wow, it's the prettiest shirt in the world. You look amazing, Alex. You now know how to tie-dye t-shirts! Hi, Alex! Hi, Max! Oops! You are sweating a lot! If you want, we can go buy some ice cream! Have you spent all your money? I see! This is why it's good to have a place where you can save some coins! What are you thinking about? a good idea, Max. We can make our own piggy-shaped money box. Of course! It's really easy and we can use recycled items. I mean, we can use stuff we already have at home. For example, if you drink this water, you will not only stop sweating, but we'll also be able to use the bottle to make our money box. We'll also need some cardboard. Great, Alex! This one is perfect! Ready? First, we need to cut the bottle into three. But we're not using the middle piece. So we'll throw it in the recycling bin so it can be recycled. Now, let's put the other two parts together. Without forgetting to make the hole for the coins, of course. <laughs> okay, it's time to use some glue. We'll put some on these bottle caps and they'll be the feet of our piggy. Just like this. And now, we'll add a little bit more to the top and the back of the bottle. That way, we can glue some ears. That we'll make out of the cardboard Alex got. Just like this. But if we want the piggy shape, we still need a tail. 
This pipe cleaner will do. But we should curl it so it's easier to recognize what it is. What do you think, guys? Do you like it? Great! It's time to paint, then. What color do you want it to be? Green? But pigs are not green, they are… Pink! That's it, Max! Do you want to do it yourself, Alex? <laughs> you are really good at it! Such an artist you are! Wow! But you didn't have to paint, Max! <laughs> oh well, it looks like he likes it anyway! So, let's finish our money box! The final touch will be adding the eyes! Which we'll make by gluing two buttons! And the nose, which we'll paint using a marker! Done! We can start saving money now! Hi, Alex! Today is Max's birthday! I thought, since he is such a good puppy, that we should prepare something special for the party! Good idea! But this time, I was thinking about something different. Ah! Oh, I know! We can make a birthday piñata! <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Making a birthday piñata is not easy. But it can be really fun. <laughs> and we can choose the shape we want. <laughs> wow! Such a good idea! We can make a unicorn piñata! And we'll use all the colors in the rainbow! This time, we're going to use a really big balloon as the basis! And we're going to stuff it with candles and treats! I'm sure Max will be really surprised when he sees what's in the piñata! <laughs> Done! We can start blowing it up! Let's blow, Alex! Very good! Well done! <laughs> Let's keep on! <laughs> Making a birthday piñata is not easy, but it can be really fun! Here it is! So we use it on all the balloons so we can glue all the decorations afterwards! <laughs> done! Now time for the paper mache We just need to put pieces of paper over the glue! So we'll have the white bases for the unicorn. But for the eyes and the mouth, we're going to use black cardboard. It's going to be so cool. For the ears, we'll use cardboard. But white and pink this time. And last, the multicolor horn. Done. We finished our unicorn piñata. Hi, Max! We made this piñata for you! Alex, do you want to do the honors? Happy birthday, Max! Now, you can enjoy the party all together! Hi, Lily! Hi, Alex! So good that you're back from school already! What happened, Lily? Problems with your homework? Oops! Looks to me like you're stressing out a bit! Should we put your homework off for a little while and make an experiment that I'm sure will help you relax? Cool! Plus, we will be using Squishy and Slime, so you'll have tons of fun too! <laughs> You're playing with the slime already! <laughs> I don't blame you. It's super gummy and fun! <laughs> and it's also the basis for a crafts today! Ooh. A stress ball! Ooh. You'll be able to squeeze it or bounce it when you're stuck with homework! Yay! It's also pretty easy! Look! 
first thing we're going to do is fill a balloon up with slime. That's why we'll need a funnel. We'll put a small balloon on the tip. If you don't have a funnel, you can use a cut plastic bottle. What's important is filling up the balloon. See? The higher up, the better. Now we just need to tie it really hard on the end so the slime stays in. <laughs> there you go, kiddos. This is a stress ball. It gives you a really pleasant feeling when you squeeze it. Look, Alex. You can even play with it. Try bouncing it. <laughs> and not only that, we can get a really funny effect. Watch this. We just need to put the balloon inside one of those fruit nets. However, don't forget to tie the end with a rubber band. And make sure it's really well tied. Now, you just need to cut the remnants with some scissors. And very carefully. Here, Alex. Try squeezing it. See? Since we put that net, the balloon comes out through the holes. <laughs> Your turn, Willy. Do you like? <laughs> you can enjoy your own stress ball. <laughs> if you had fun with this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. And join our great Toon Toon Games family.